Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to make a simple Google Chrome extension of your own um, and install it. And this is the one I've made here, it's on the screen. It's just a Google Chrome homepage. So every time I click on a new um, tab, it comes up with this. Now these are the links to my favourite websites here. Um, so basically, uh, if I press this, it'll take me straight to my sign-in page to sign in for my website. Straight inside, bang. Um, another one is just, just say I click on YouTube, it'll just take me to YouTube. But I could have taken it straight to my channel if it was for uploading videos or something. Um, you don't need to go to actual YouTube, you can put your um, page in there and all you have to do is press on manage and go and do your stuff. So um, I've just put some extra things in there, so Facebook, it'll go to Facebook, it'll log me straight into Facebook, there we go. Um, yeah, anything you want there. Um, I'm going to give you the code, you can edit it. Um, if you can't edit it yourself, you can use ChatGPT to do it for you. Um, you can also, I've got a Google search in here, so you can just search for dog tricks and press search and it will go to Google and find dog tricks or whatever you want to do. Now, and this is my to-do list, so make a YouTube video and press add task and there's your thing. Now you can remove that as well when it's done. Uh, go to shops, just add a few tasks in there. Uh, <laughs> write a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't put long-term tasks, just put today's tasks in there. Now, this is very simple with no distractions, as you can see. Now, I had a calendar on there, but I didn't like it, so I removed it. Now, if you want something different, you can just well, ask G Chat GPT to help you with the code. So basically, I'm going to give you an example of my code, what I've got here, so you can make this page and you can easily edit the links and change them to what you want so that's easy enough and keep everything else the same and this is what you'll get here so let's go ahead now the first thing that we have to do is um, create some files so I'm just gonna show you what files we're going to need So I'm in ChatGPT right now and I just said what are the basic files you need to make a Google Chrome extension and it's given me the list here. Now there's only five different things on the list here. Now I'm going to go through them with you so you get it right. So this one here is an essential file and you need it to divide define what the extension and stuff can do, so the permissions and resources. So the next one is the HTML file. Now this has all the um, bits in there that you want to include, so it's got um, the search bar that I had, um, it's got the details of it um, and all that, and then it's got the other things as well, the links, you'll see the links separately itemized in there, so you can just go and change that, change that and save the file without any harm, you'll be able to see where to change a link. Um, now the JavaScript file, um, I did have to put the JavaScript file in, the CSS file I didn't have to use, I just incorporated it into the HTML file. With the icons, I went and made an icon in a Canva, in the Canva suite, and um, it's actually just this little icon you can see up the top here that I've made there. 
and that shows up in the Google extensions library or something so you've got you'll have that there okay so we've got this here now if you want to do it we're gonna get a notepad file out first okay guys the first thing I'm gonna do is open a notepad so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press on the win key and R for the run box to appear which is right here then we're going to type in notepad and press OK. So now we've got a notepad up here. So we're going to start making the files that we need and we're only going to have three of them today. So the first one is we're going to go to the file and press save as and then we're going to paste it in here what it's called. Now it's going to be called manifest.json okay and I'm just pressing all files for that now what you want to do is you want to go and find out where you want to put it now I've created a folder called Google home page now I'm gonna do it again but I'm gonna call it something else this time so we know that it's gonna be a different thing right from scratch so we're going to call go to new folder and create a folder on our desktop and we're gonna call it Google home page okay so it's not the Google so we're what we're gonna do is go into that folder so we're on the desktop Google home page and we're going to save manifest.json save okay so that's the file there so now we're going to open up another one now we're going to save this one as a all files we're going to call it script.js and that's for the javascript and we're going to make sure we're putting it in this folder with the manifest.json okay make sure we're in the same spot press save now we're going to open up another one and we're going to save it as save as and this one's going to be a HTML file so see how we've got our files in there and this one's changed it because of the extension that I've put on it it changes the icon right this one's going to be called index.html so this is going to be the index file I mean the HTML file okay again we're making sure that it's in the same folder that I've created Google home page press save okay so now we've got three files lined up here okay there's one manifest whatever then we've got the script and then we've got the index so all we have to do now is get the code that I have and we're going to paste it into each of these so I am going to give you the code below in a PDF or you could pause this video if you want but uh, it's better to get it off a PDF and copy it all so you don't have to type it or do anything okay so what we're going to do is go and get the code now I'm just going to go and copy the code quickly okay I've just copied the code I'm just going to paste it in here okay so there it is document type HTML if you scroll down it's got the buttons the favorite links um, keep going it's got the to-do list the background color and here's the links that you can change the favorite links section here's the favorite links section that you can change all you have to do is change this link in here and then the target which is the writing that you see on the screen you can change that too. leave everything the same then you can when you change it you just go up the top here and you press save okay so it still saves in the index HTML so you can change any of that um, the to-do list is down there and then 
this part here links to the JavaScript that we're going to put in there as well. Alright, so I'm going to go and get the JavaScript now. We've already, uh, we haven't done the uh, the manifest JSON, I call it JSON, it's J-S-O-N. Alright, so we're going to do that now, we're going to get those. So first we're going to paste the script in, we can right click and paste, I've already copied it. Okay, so this is the script for all those things that are happening. So um, it tells the Google search how to work the button, blah blah blah, um, function to update the time, uh, it's got different things in there. Now like I said you can either do this yourself and fix it up or you can copy this entire thing into chat GPT and ask it to help you. Okay so we're saving this now save and it'll save as script.js now just make sure we did save that one there the index html now let's get the manifest json or json okay so i'm just copying the code right and right click copy and now i'm going back to my other notepad which i'm making to show you the tutorial and we're going here and we're going to paste it paste there it is and we're going to save it save so this um, says that there's icons as well so like I said I made an icon in um, Canva I'll show you quickly what I did I went to uh, Canva where am I I'll just go there we go reload the page this is the um, icon that I made for Google Chrome and that's what's sitting up the top there so um, look I don't know you can use this if you want to but I have got Google Chrome in there as well they probably won't like that so maybe change it or do something um, you're welcome to steal it or whatever <laughs> whatever you want all right so all I did was go to create a design okay look up icon I just typed icon in there then I pressed um, seriously I just went to logo just logo and um, I did this 500 by 500 pixel thing here um, I could have removed the background if I wanted to but it doesn't matter it stands out I mean I could have removed the background but it might have looked like Google too much so we'll just this is just an experiment for me um, just mucking around a bit so choose a logo do the 500 by 500 and when you go in there you can go to design and it'll come up with see that there right there I just took that took some things off it moved it around um, you can choose any of them and do something and start you know customize it and make it your own but I needed something pretty quick so did that alright so when I did that I pressed share up here and download and it downloads as a PNG okay and I downloaded it to the folder that I um, was putting all those files in so the other thing was that it needed three icons so I kept saving the same icon and changing the um, thing the name here so the first one was icon 16 right the next one and then I saved it as that then I did 48 and then I did 128 so I'm going to show you quickly what that looks like in my actual folder on the desktop so go to the desktop this is what I made previously so this one um, we'll just choose the extra large icons to view or maybe not that big let's have a look all right so um, I've got the files in here, I've got the index.html, 
and I've got the icon sitting in there as well. Okay, now I made an icon folder as well and put them in there as well just in case it couldn't find them. But anyway, um, if you have trouble, I don't know which one works because I've got both of them. Um, but this time we might, what I'm going to do is just copy these ones now and I'll come back and just move that out of the way and copy this one as well. So I'm going to copy all these, going to copy them and we're going to take them to the new folder that I'm making right now. So we've got the index, the manifest and the script that we just created. Now we're going to paste those three icons there. Okay. Alright, so that's done. They're actually the same thing, remember? It's the same picture saved with different names. That's all it is. Okay, so we've got all this. We've got the whole lot. Now we have to enable Google Chrome to use this. Alright, so let's go to Google Chrome. Of course, we'll go to my home page. <laughs> right, we'll get rid of some of these because I've got a lot of tabs up here. Okay, so we're on this page and we want to go to the settings now. So we're going to click on these three dots and go right down the bottom where it says settings and press on it. Okay, so over here in the corner we've got extensions right down the bottom here. Press extensions. Okay, so now we're going to press up right up the top here on the right hand side right right up the top on the right hand side we're gonna press developer mode okay so there is the custom home page that I had that was called custom Chrome home page now we're gonna remove that just press remove and then press remove now we're gonna add this new one in so we're like we're starting from scratch so we're gonna go up to load unpacked and now we're going to find the uh, one we just made. So this is the one I had previously and this is the one we've just made. So we just want to um, select it by making it blue so and it says press this button down here it says select folder which we've selected. Okay so here it is it's on it's in there okay there's the icon that we made or Anyway, um, so now we're going to open up a page. Okay, now it says, "Do you do? Did you mean to change this page? Keep it." Okay, now that's it. There we go. Now let's test it out. YouTube video, add a task. Okay, um, go to shops. Get oops sorry get a phone charger not from the shops no find a phone charger find my phone oops charger right okay now there we go we did it that's it that's how easy it is so now all you have to do is copy my code and this is how you learn things okay so you might be copying my code but um, you can look at it and you can go oh yeah that's where the Google search is um, that's where the time is in the code and you can see it and then you go over to the JavaScript and you can see the what that's doing you know you can check things out for yourself um, it's good to start editing the links and put your own links in there. Um, now I'd really love it if you subscribe to my channel if you think that this is really interesting and cool um, and hopefully you find it useful. So that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you like my Google Chrome homepage.